This now, the acting public protector has cleared President Cyril Ramaphosa of any wrongdoing in the Palapala saga, but the issue is far from closed. A legal battle is looming as some opposition parties head to court to have uh, Kolega Kalega's report reviewed. Now, the DA as well as the ATM are calling the report a whitewash that undermines the intelligence of South Africans. Here's ENCA senior reporter Aisha Ismail with more. Both the DA and ATM have already briefed their lawyers to have the acting public protector's Pala Pala report challenged. They say based on facts, President Cyril Ramaphosa has a case to answer. It must be reviewed, it must be set aside, and the, 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 the courts must actually come in and um, you know, delve on the issues that were raised because clearly the deputy, deputy public protector has failed to apply the law, has failed to actually um, you know, test the facts that was before her because all of this evidence, it is something that we provided to her as the ATM. Therefore, in the failure of the deputy public protector, the courts must come in and pronounce that indeed the president has violated some sections of the constitution, including um, the, um, the, 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 some sections of the, um, um, the, the executive uh, member's ethics code. Zungula says the president, by his own admission, was a farmer and sold animals, meaning he was actively involved in the running of Pala Pala. He also questioned why a criminal case was only opened in August last year when the crime was committed in early 2020. The head of the Presidential Protection Services, Major General Wally Rueda, and Presidential Protection Services official Klolani Rehozo were found to have acted improperly following their handling of the burglary and theft of millions of cash in foreign currency. So far, no arrests have been made. Mr. Wali Rode did not, on his, out of his own accord, um, use state resources and go after those criminals. It was because of an instruction that he got from the president. Constitutional law expert Law Sanaidu says the report only dealt with three aspects of the saga. Whether the president had violated the executive member's ethics act and code. Secondly, whether he acted in a manner inconsistent with the responsibilities of the office in the way in which the matter was reported. And thirdly, whether the members of SAPS had acted according to their constitutional and legal mandates in investigating the uh, burglary and theft at Palapala. The report, insofar as those three, those three aspects are concerned, is cogent in its uh, factual and legal analysis of the evidence and information available to the acting public protector. It is quite possible that another uh, court uh, or court could come to a different uh, findings on the basis of a review ap application, but I think the report uh, is a solid one. It's based on the legal principles that govern the office of the public protector as well as the legislation under which it operates. He says while it was inevitable that the report would become politicized, he says the personal attacks on the acting public protector are regrettable. Aisha Ismail, Cape Town.